Guys, they said Kabi AC jubilates as Queen Naomi accepted to make a public appearance with him in US. You know that this thing called love. You cannot fight love. If this honor is like, let them fight from now till eternity. They cannot stop what Kabi AC have for Queen Naomi. And they cannot separate uh, Queen Naomi from Kabi AC. No matter the kind of jazz, no matter the kind of juju that they are doing, they are just wasting their time. And the thing is that the more they try to fight Queen Naomi, the more closer they draw Kabi AC closer to Queen Naomi. Yes, so, because I believe that had it been the, uh, they are not fighting Queen Naomi, they are not the way they are fighting her, Kabi AC wouldn't have been concentrated more on making sure that she is safe or making sure that no harm from this Oloris befalls her. And by so doing, they keep getting closer and uh, closer. Which is one thing that this Oloris did not like one bit. You know? So, information have it that uh, after Ashley's aunt called uh, Queen Naomi on phone, and they told her that KBAC is preparing to marry the seventh wife, that she should not go and relax so, and think that uh, she is winning, that uh, she has been able to pull all these oloris out of the palace, that she can never be in the, in the palace alone, because this second wife that is coming will surely stay there with her. You know? So she was just doing it to get Queen Naomi angry. And they say Queen Naomi asked uh, Kabi AC, is there anything of that nature? And they say Kabi AC told her no that there is nothing like that, that his major priority right now is to bring her and Tade Nikawo back to the palace. That is the most important thing to him right now. They said like a day or two after that first call, another call came from the same woman telling Queen Naomi that if she like, they can send her identity of the seventh wife that is loading, which will happen on or before Kabiesi's birthday. So... And they said they told Queen Naomi that the woman in question is a royal blood, blue-blooded, uh, from Oyotunji village in South Carolina, USA. That uh, the grandfather is the founder of that uh, village, that Yoruba village. That Oyotunji village is a Yoruba village in USA. That it is the lady's other grandfather or great grandfather that founded that uh, village in 1970. So they were able to convince, I would like to say they were able, they did not convince her, but they were trying to convince her with these proofs that what they are telling her is the truth. Even to the point of telling her that the last time that Kabi AC visited the US, that he was together with the lady in question. And with all of that, they said Queen Naomi was kind of worried, but she, she, she believed her husband. And it was on this course that Kabi AC insisted. They said Kabi AC, uh, have they have been scheduled that another Olori will follow uh, Oni of Ife to U.S. for the annual conference that this Oyotunji village used to have. They said there is this conference that they normally have once in a year. And every year, key obas from different Yoruba nations, you know that Yoruba are spread worldwide, as in you come to different places like Brazil, Malawi, all of those places, you find that there, there are Yoruba tribes there. And so, most of them, they believe in this Efa, and they, believe, they, they worship this Efa very well. Just like that uh, Oyotunji village, in South Carolina, USA. They said in that village, they worship the Efa as they are stunt Efas. They don't mix it with any other religion. They believe so much in Efa. And they also hold Kabi as a very high esteem. They see Kabi as the first son of the gods. They said Kabi is not a small king. Oh. Anybody sitting on that throne is not a small king because worldwide, he is recognized as the first son of the gods because they all believe in one God in that uh, Efa. So they believe that Kabi Esi represents the overall uh, Odudua, you know? So 
anytime they are hosting that annual conference in Oyotunji village, they normally invite Oni of Ife. And Oni of Ife have scheduled that he will attend that program with an, one of his wives. You know? Then when this one happened, they were trying to convince Queen Naomi that uh, Kabiesi is going to marry a, a lady from that tribe, from that uh, Oyotunji. Then they said Queen no uh, Kabiesi now told Queen Naomi that in order to tell you that these people are just lying, they just want to make you angry, that you are going to follow me to that occasion, to that uh, event, that uh, annual conference that will be holding, I don't know the exact date, though. So, they said at first, when Naomi was like, I don't think I'll follow you because I've not heard from my God, the Holy Spirit have not directed me. You know that before now, they have been saying that the reason why Kwenomi is not going on any occasion with KBS right now, even though they are in a very good relationship, their relationship is strong and uh, booming right now. And that is why the Oloris are running Helter Skelter to see what they can do to stop them again. And now they say KBS is able to get to this stage with Kwenomi because the Oloris are no longer in the palace. Because they now stay in their own Olori quarters. And the information have it that the Olori quarters is not even uh, far from the from the palace. It's just a stone throw from the palace to the but for the fact that they are not inside, they are not able to bury some of those things that they used to manipulate everyone and the whole situation in the palace. Kabiesi is making headway with Queen Naomi. So they said, well, Kabiesi told Queen Naomi that you'll be following me to that event. Queen Naomi declined at first, you know. But maybe Kabiesi keep persuading her to follow him, at least give him reasons to give her reasons to follow him and all of that. Now, the information getting to us is that finally Queen Naomi have accepted to go on that uh, uh, event with Kabiesi. And they say Kabiesi is jubilating. He is very, very happy. Reason is because at least when Naomi will get to see that those people they are lying to her, whoever that is calling her is to tell her that uh, he is planning to marry a princess from that Oyotundi village that the person is lying. And when Naomi, on the other hand, will go and meet with those people, you know. And again, those people telling us that uh, you guys keep saying that Penomi and Doni of Ife are in a very good relationship. Why is it that we are not seeing pictures and everything? We pray that this time there will be pictures because one thing about Penomi is that he likes to do her things, personal, private life, the sweet and way way. Because she, she doesn't want stories that touches the heart, you know? So let's just hope by the grace of God we will see pictures, recent pictures these days. Okay, guys, that's the gist. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and follow my page and share my video. I really appreciate you for always being here. My God will always bless you for me, okay? Bye. Love you guys.